Hello my friends, it's a new week, it's Monday, it's exciting and I have an equally exciting topic for you today and today we are talking about rock bottom, yes, the dumps, the lowest of the low, you've gone as low as you think you can go, you can't go any lower than this. Today I have an exciting message for you today because I think if you implement what I'm going to discuss in the next few minutes, you will surely find your way up rock bottom before i start i want you to have one key word in mind keep this in your mind as we go along and the word is trigger trigger that one word that trigger that refocuser that will bring you back on keep that in mind so okay today i want to thank you for joining me and as usual our inspiration for this discussion is coming straight out of the bible luke chapter 15 starting from verse 11 to the end of that chapter it is the story of the lost son, the prodigal son. That is a very familiar story. Most people know it. It is the story of two boys, two sons, the younger of whom went to their father and unwisely asked their father to give him his share of the inheritance that was supposed to come to him. The father acquiesces, gives the son this inheritance, and the son takes it away to a faraway land where he squanders it with wayward friends and prostitutes and other bad elements. And then, lo and behold, a famine sets in the land in which he was living, and he had no food, he was hungry, and so he had to go and hire himself out to a farmer, a guy who bred pigs. And so this young man started working in a pig pen and feeding the pigs. And because he was so hungry and he had no food, he had to eat the pig's food. Yes, that's how low he had sunk. He was in the dumps. He was at rock bottom. And this is where he needed his trigger. And this is what we'll learn from him. The Bible tells us in verse 17 that he came to himself. This young man came to himself. That is that trigger. And I want to tell us that this coming to self is a mental thing. It is a sort of remembrance. This guy remembered who he truly was. He looked around his surroundings and something dawned on him. For, for the first time in a long time, he remembered who he truly was. And he looked and said, no, I can do better than this. Something in that pig pen told him, come on, dude. Your father was a man of means. He owned cattle and sheep and all other animals like this one. He had servants working for him. So why are you working at a level beneath that of a servant and eating pig's food? So he came to himself. It is that coming to self. It is the coming to self that helps you get out of rock bottom. It is the coming to self that is your trigger. Something will set it off. Something will give you that real aha moment that say voila look at yourself in the mirror you are better than this you can do better this young man realized and he came to himself and said no no i will go back to my father's house because my father at my fa in my father's house i can do far better than this and even even if he doesn't accept me again as a son the least position that I will have in my father's house will be better than what I am currently doing. Ladies and gentlemen, rock bottom means he's falling so low. The best thing he can do for himself right now is to regroup. To regroup and say, I know deep down. And that is where I want to focus our discussion today. Deep down in you, you can do better. Now, you might not be a young person who's lost their way, who left home unadvisedly you might not be someone who took a sim who took a similar path but somewhere in your life you are underperforming maybe professionally maybe personally maybe just in your relationship with other people maybe even your relationship with god you are not performing like you know you ought to your fruits your results are far beneath the seed that is in you and you have recognized that you know that what you've been putting out stinks and that you can do way better than you've been doing. And so you remind yourself, you come to your, you come to that point, you say, I have been complacent, I have been lazy, I have been lethargic, I have been underperforming by miles. 
and it is about time I set my course back on the right track. So this young man came to himself. And I want you to listen. That is key. Listen to those triggers in your life. Because if you miss it, you will be like that person who set an alarm clock for a very, very important meeting in the morning. But because he was so wasted the night before, that when the alarm clock went off, he or she didn't hear it. And then they missed the trigger that could have set them off, that could have woken them up, that could have set them to move forward. Don't miss your triggers. Your triggers are what will get you to that place of coming to self. That coming to yourself where you remember that no. Somewhere deep in the recesses of my beautiful being, God has put something that can help me better myself. That will help me get out of this dumpster that I am in. I can do better than this. My underperformance is no longer acceptable to me. I will no longer tolerate this crap from me. I will not put up with my own mess up anymore because I know that I know that I know that I have something beautiful that has been dormant in me for a long time. And that thing is yearning and stretching, trying to come out. And I have been suppressing it and pressing it down. No longer would I do that. I will let that beautiful butterfly inside me to go free. Let that bird to fly out. Because I know this bird can soar. But I have been stripping its wings and chaining its tails and keeping it down here. Because my mind has sunken down. It has sunken down to the level of my physical environment. Like this young man, he had fallen down to the point where he was acting like a pig. And feeling like a pig and smelling like a pig. No more. I said, no more, just like it was for him, and no more for you. For starting today, I'm telling you, whoever is listening to me, who watches this video, share it with your friends. Tell yourself, no more. Tell yourself, this is it. I have read rock bottom. I have tolerated nonsense for as long as I am going to put up with it. No more. I am cleaning house, starting with me. I have come to myself. I have come to myself. The trigger has been set off. And I'm going to listen. I'm going to copy them, seize on it, and move. It's time to get out of this wilderness I have been in. I am not going to put up with this nonsense from myself, not anybody anymore. So look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, it's time to move on. Park your things. Fold that tent. Cast it aside. Remove those dirt clothes. Remove those rubs of stench. I said, this is the moment I am moving forward. I'm going back on the right track. And I really want to emphasize to you, this is not, it's not just physical, it's spiritual. See, this boy was sitting in the pig pen where everything was stinking, rotted. There was nothing beautiful in that pig pen. But the external dirt, the external filth couldn't cloud, couldn't cover anymore the beauty inside. And so in that moment where he was slow, he was looking for a way out. And he searched. He knew that the solution wasn't external. He searched deep, in, deep inside and realized that I am better than this. In my father's house, I was like a prince. I had means. I had servants. I was loved. I was respected. I had dignity. I had food. I had more than the external even. And that is what drove him back home. Because think about it. If it was just the goods... If it was just the money, he wouldn't have gone back home. Because after all, he had already squandered it. So why would he be taking back home? Going empty-handed? Also, at home, his father wasn't doing that badly. The farm was thriving. His older brother was still there working. His father still had servants. He had a father calf that they were just keeping on standby for a special occasion. So at home, his father was doing better. He was doing well. He wasn't really missed in that sense financially or, you know, in the economic circumstance. But in, in his heart, his father was missing him. He was sorely missed at home. In his heart, his father was yearning for his son. And his eyes was always, always on the road looking for when his son would come back. That spiritual connection, that heart thing. And it was the same heart thing that saved this boy sitting in that pig pen. He reached down in deep inside of him and said, I know a better place. I know a place where I think I'll be received well. That even if I showed up empty-handed without my goods, without my inheritance, they would still love me. Because I am more than just what I, I have in my hand. 
there's something beautiful inside of me. As a person, just by myself, I am enough. And that is what took him back home. And I want to encourage you, my friends, that as a person, you are more than enough. And so wherever you find yourself, that you find yourself underperforming, not doing as well as you, as you should, that you know that you're acting beneath the beauty and the riches that are inside of you, remember that. Please remember that. And find your way home. Let that be your trigger. Look around you. I always like to talk about doing a self-inventory. Go home and do some stock taking. Look at yourself and say, are my fruits beneath lower in quality than the seed that went in? If your answer is yes, if you answer yes to that question in the slimmest way in any area of your life, I want to tell you that is your trigger. Come to yourself. That self of the beautiful and priceless you inside. I always like to say our assets are more than what is in the bank. What is inside of us is immeasurable, unsearchable. In fact, unknowable until we leave this earth. We we'll always have something inside that we can give. Reach for that. The Father loves you and he has put some untold wealth inside of you. Wealth in many different areas. Reach for it and let that be that which guides you out of the dumps you are in. Say it is enough. Come to yourself today. Let that trigger move you. Let Don't be like that person who is so out of it. That the clock that was supposed to wake them up sounded loudly. And yet they didn't hear because they were so entrenched in the normalcy, the, the new normal of the nonsense, of the mediocrity that they had built around them, themselves. And they had become so acquainted with it and so familiar and comfortable with it. Comfortable that when the train that was supposed to take them out came roaring and passing by, they never even heard it because their ears had gone numb. They could no longer hear of higher things are you low not just in your physical but in your mind it is a time to come into self so you can hear the higher things you can hear the higher voice is calling you to better and more superior and nobler things it is time to come home come home doesn't mean going back to where you were yesterday no come home to being the special wonderfully exquisite ah intelligent and genius and superior being that god has made you to be not superior to other human beings superior in terms of you being a human being and all the gifts you have something you do and you know that you do so why are you putting up with less than come home today come to yourself let that trigger move you listen for the triggers and when it comes seize it stand up get up and go say enough with enough and this is not me. This is no, this is not you pointing figures externally. This is all home, all me dealing with this. Because if I were to get up, if I were to come to myself and start moving forward, there are not enough, enough forces on earth to stop me. There is no power in hell or any who can stand before the power of that name of Jesus. And when you go in that name, when you walk in that power and in that strength, nothing can stop you. They may try, yeah, but they won't. So I want to encourage you today. That is my message. Get out of that dumps. Any area of your life, look around. Anything that you know in your spirit that has been underperforming, that has been giving you less than you've been, that you expect, tell yourself this is it. No more. I am so glad for you today. I am so very thrilled for you that your moment of turnaround is here. That you are turning that ship and setting it on the right course because you have come to yourself. You have not come to anything else. You have come to know the beautiful and better you that's inside. And you are resolved to tap into that person, to use it and to beautifully shine. Shine both for you and all the people that you help, but most especially to the glory and the praise of his worthy name jehovah god bless you today i thank you for listening god bless you i hope this helps you share with your friends and tomorrow we'll continue on this topic of the prodigal son who got lost but found his way home and him be an example for us that regardless of where we are lost in our lives we too can find our way home welcome home <music>